Students in Northwestern's freshman chemistry lab are cooking up something powerful this Friday afternoon. They are pioneering a technique for creating solar cells in only two hours. Postdoctoral research fellow Samir Patwardham developed the recipe. Perovskite solar cell is really the really the more promising third generation solar cell technology that is really coming up now and we just wanted to show students how easy it is, how simple it is. So simple that it requires inexpensive lab materials. Binder clips, a Bunsen burner for perovskite crystallization, and copper powder to catch electrical charge. Just a few on the list. And building each cell costs less than 50 cents. So the key material is perovskite light absorbing material and it's a very simple sandwich design. At the end of it, you have a solar cell and you can measure current and voltage coming out of it to show that it's converting sunlight into electricity. These two tiny solar cell devices can produce as much voltage as one AA battery when the two are combined. If chemistry students here in the lab at Northwestern can produce this technology, the potential in the real world is endless. Perovskite solar cells uh, we can put them on rooftop to convert sunlight to electricity. Uh, we can also use them for our daily electrical appliances. Electrical appliances like your cell phone charger. All fascinating ideas for the freshman chemists. This process is so cutting edge. So, like all these procedures are so new and it's, it's great to be part of this like learning process where we're seeing how efficient we can make this. The efficient solar cells created today show that in undergraduate labs this design's future is bright. At Northwestern's Evanston campus, Melissa Shankman from Medill.